towards point B to take the fight there. Instead, Dallas Fuel never said die. They hung in there. Well, There's only a minute left on the clock here for Los Angeles Gladiators. It's about the coordination and having a plan. This is what makes teams like NYXL so good. It's like, oh, we need someone to stall. So this is who goes in first. This is who comes in second. We're going to try this and then that. And they executed it magnificently. So, AKM looking for that hack. B. Shu not long for this world, unfortunately, for Dimas. It's not a fun time. Astro Freddy gets the spot on that translocate. We will get the stick from effect. Does he get the kill? Yes, Fisher out of the fight. He's so low, though, and they're going to have to pop a Valkyrie. Eventually, Los Angeles will crack this. They have to throw all the ults that they have at it because why not? You need it. They will get four and a half minutes going into second point, and this is the switch up that you want. Better effect. From his perspective, things aren't going too poorly here. He's able to just farm up as quickly as possible. That pulse he's just used is Uncle will find the pick on Asher, though. A lot of DPS dead now for Los Angeles Gladiators, and the fight continues as the tanks are getting into it now as well. Uh, this is a much better transcend. That's what the benefit of having two support ultimates. You use one to get in and one to fight on the point and try to close out. The Gladiators continue to push. Harry Hook and Uncle falling means that this might just be it. Some stall comes in from AKM and Effect. Effect falls, though. Effect falls, AKM out of it. Siegel is there to take it up. However, he's doing the dance on the point. Not gonna survive for too long. We even have Mickey on the Mave, although he gets clipped immediately. And are they gonna be able to make it back? No, not in time. Dallas Fuel will get overwhelmed in the end. Minute 23 on the clock for Gladiators in the bank. This short force McCree just turns up there at the end, and we took him back in the corner right now. Fissure trying to get a lot of damage in, but they were able to get the resurrection and got a couple key kills of their own. Most notably, Bichu self-destruct. Equalized things, took the mercy out of the fight. Yeah, Fisher, how are we gonna be able to clear that point? That's two ticks picked up now for Dallas Fuel with a minute left. Can they actually clinch it though? End this fight here. Effect sees all those bodies in the back line, just goes for the hero pulse. Not gonna find it though. Unfortunately for him, he does survive it, so he can keep doing damage the hard way. Oh, Siegel plows through, takes down Big Goose. That is everyone going down in short order. And Dallas will take this first point. Now, the big question is, does Los Angeles make an enormous switch? Go leaping right into the middle of it, and Harry Hook working on that valve, making progress, topping Mickey up. This is what McCree dreams are made of, just tickling on the oh. end. Boom! Big Goose down, boiled! What a sick shot. AKM now. Deadeye, not gonna matter, deleted by Asher before he can pull the trigger. And well, it is gonna be Mickey leaping around on the point right now. He gets, to, well, that is definitely not what you wanna happen. When you're primal, you wanna be jumping, but the trance is there to save him. And Dallas will continue the fight, nearly got this unlocked. Trance and Valkyrie into this fight, they're all in, and Los Angeles needs a kill to try to bring this one back, but it is not going to happen. Dallas will complete the map, a difference of only 30 seconds between these two teams' time banks. For AKM, Sureforce got the angle if AKM gets forced out into the open. And this could be the big first pick, although Asher decides to go for the low ground instead, and Fisher will be there to capitalize. Oh, and the choose your own adventure book that is the Gladiator's attack. That was the right choice for sure. Had he gone up, he would have just disrupted the Widow. Instead, he gets kills. He sees the big juicy targets there, and they will grab first point with ease. Great play from Asher. Great decision making. It's not all mechanics for Tracer. You gotta make the right call. Yeah, definitely. We have seen this duo working together so far. This map, Asher and Fisher, just collapsing on targets. And it is what the best uh, Winston Tracer combos are capable of. What they do, what they excel out is looking for a trance. It's all over the place, though. The duel and Zumiata's all over. But Bigus has got the wings out. He will not succeed in keeping Bishu alive. Bishu has got the self destruct if he decides to use it, though. He's not looking quite like it. Fisher chucked off the side. And yet again, effect. Filling up the kill feed by himself there, and Fuel will hold on second point without giving up any progress. Diva is such an annoying hero to play against. I'm a little scared that you like these screams as much. I'm locked in a room with you right now. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go, shit for it. <laughs> Just disgusted with it all. Only 30 seconds left. Well, you have a Valkyrie for the side of the Gladiators too. I'd imagine it's gonna be popped right away. There it is, Big Goose already preemptive pops it. Uncle first to fall again. Yeah, Fisher, man, he's just called these shots. Get in there, flatten that Zenyatta as quick as possible. Effect will soon follow. Shaz with a headshot on him. And Fisher right now just running amok. But we've got Asher's perspective as he is just going on cleanup duty as well. And there isn't a whole lot here that Dallas Will can hope to do. Mickey crouching behind, ready to leap in, but he will get obliterated instantly, even with the primal. He's got a Discord on him. He gets melted. And overtime taking off. AKM just kind of bunny hopping his way in here, but he's not going to be quick enough. Self-destruct for good measure. It was a close one, but the Gladiators have there for him to get in unscathed. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit, actually, of Anubis, that you have to just work so hard just to get in, just to be able to fight near the points. I mean, teams are not even getting close to it now. Asher is able to get to the back line. Uncle out of this fight. 
The good thing is for the offense that defensive reinforcements take a bit to get here. They do, they do. Make it decide to just take the fight right to him. Oh my god! Gets obliterated immediately. He jumps right into five, and he has no support from the rest of his team. With no tanks in the fight here, things could get nasty. Siegel, however, is still around. He's trying, to, he's trying to continue this fight at least for a little while longer, but he's going to get DMAX now by Asher, and that could be the opening here for Los Angeles Gladiators to get a very quick cap on point A. Yeah, very well done there. They didn't have to use any ultimates either. They're banking up support ultimates. Look at this. It's going to be check marks across the board for this team as they continue to push forward. If they're able to hold, they force out Valkyrie, actually. Good job from AKM. Okay, Cam gets caught immediately. Effect is trying to get in here, trying to stay alive a little while longer. Silk Thread doesn't even feel like he has to use the MP. They're going to be able to win this as they trickle in one after another. Dallas Fuel might as well be in the middle of Siberia right now as far as he's concerned in this next fight. It's going to be a little bit of time before he gets in. And well, now Asher will find the kill on him as well. Los Angeles Gladiators making so much progress. Four ults up as well. Fisher decides to go primal. AKM will get batted back. No escape. <laughs> Juggle in the corner. Good job banking ultimates, knowing that's where teams stall out. You have to conserve and offer this push right here to get to second point, and they will get that progress. Now it's time to go into the dark cave. Had he not had that transcend, it all goes wrong for them there. The Deadeye is going to come out. Effect is out of this fight as well, but AKM equalizes both tanks. There go some of the other heroes as well, and this should be Dallas holding. He's got no flashbang, unfortunately, for him. self threat might be able to find Other a way out of here. Yeah, there it is. That was sick from Onko. You're definitely thinking he is going to be... Out of it, has to reflex. No kills for him. In fact, will find it. And Bisha with a big Hail Mary self-destruct chucked out in the open. Will not find a target by the looks of it. Siegel still hanging in there somehow on this point. Oh, there's another self-destruct over top. Should close it out. Bishu out of mech gets deleted. And now it's desperation time as they will blink in. But it does seem like Dallas in a great position to stop them from completing Blizzard Worlds. Yeah, Silk Thread even going for the Soldier, just trying to run in here all the quicker. Not going to be good enough, though. And they are dead. Wiped out. Gladiators nearly pick up the third point on Blizzard World, though. And that is... Towards his healers there for a moment. Kept it going. There's a False Bomb. He's probably going to D-Mech the D.Va there. Sombra comes into the mix, takes our butt to the face. There's the Deadeye. Does not get the mercy he was looking for, though. That's the primary target of the Deadeye. Yeah, he was definitely, but they are still finding these kills, and it's nothing like right now, Los Angeles Gladiators, they're not going to have a whole lot to work no, they're, with. They're leaving. They're leaving. Will they be able to make it back? No. no. Will not be able to make it back in time. They're just going for the hard reset. They had Asher on the high ground hiding out. He, if they were looking for any sort of reset, he would have just... Again, AKM instantly smushed by Bishu, and Shaz is there as well. The EMP coming through, and the Gladiators looking prime right now to... Net what? Beautiful, beautiful. Seagull opens it up with a self-destruct, buys all the room that they need to be able to resurrect Mickey, so they're back into the fray. They've got four alive on the cart. A self-destruct is going to have to get them scurrying around the corner, though. They live through it. Seagull loses his mech. Seagull loses his mech. Bishu still arrived, but he is not going to be so for long, though. Gets demac immediately, and this is it. Dallas Fuel off the back of a fantastic self-destruct from the man himself, Seagull, showing that he's still got a beak. He is going to be able to turn the tide, and Dallas Fuel right now, they will set themselves up to push forward and take this second point. It's still contested right now, but they will take second point, an extension on their clock, 90 seconds left. And he is now cloaked, he's running into the back line, will find the targets, but the trance comes out before he can get it off. AKM obliterated immediately, and while Siegel now kind of looking down from the sidelines, hoping, wishing that something can go right for Dallas Fuel, because right now it's definitely not happening. Uh, just a preemptive trance, knowing your timings right there, knowing the time position that it's going to be up now. You see the spawn location, you see him come up, you know that this is about the time at it, and then come back. But at some point, most teams will transition into dive because it's the best way to deal with the Rissa. Not able, Harry. Harry Hook even with the Infrasight, not going to be able to pull it together. Fisher will find Mickey as well, and they are going to be under pressure here. Siegel trying to turn it around with the tire. He's going to find the perfect target. No, decides to go for Big Goose instead. That's a way better target than taking down the Zenyatta, because there's no resurrections available. Siegel continues his reign of terror, takes down Chaz. This one is back and forth in a brawl. And Los Angeles Gladiators will take control of the point without having to switch compositions. Just nice and the point locked in place on the point itself with Fisher just chucking down barriers. Although as I say that, he gets melted. The bomb goes in play for Mickey. That's what just gets scrappy all over the point, but there comes a barrage of white into the kill feed as they're able to take down three in short order. Resurrection does actually come up onto Fisher to make sure that they stay that. And now Dallas desperate to get onto this point. We'll take down one, but it's not going to be enough. Siegel's all alone. Yeah, Siegel all alone. It's not going to be good enough here. It will be a 1-0 lead here for the Gladiators. One point away from clinching the series versus the Dallas Fuel. 
going to have to go up and down, up over the top. I'm surprised he's not taking the other angle. Yet again, Fisher getting cut off from his teammates. Asher point blank will find the headshot on effect. But the damage has already been dealt as Asher is going to have to try and work his way in. Instantly having to Wraith out, no Death Blossom yet for him, and Bishu kind of hanging on the edge, could get the kill on AKM, eventually does whittle him down. That's a great it's nothing. matrix. It's a great matrix to prevent the hook. Here comes that Blizzard on the point, self-destruct. The Seagulls can use it more as a zoning method than anything. They're going to get, keep getting percentages, but now it does seem like Los Angeles has finally tilted it in their favor as the tanks who got picked off to begin this fight come back onto the point. Now it's off. That's awkward for effect. It's just buying time. Side of things, the gladiators have not used ults in quite a bit. Yeah, they still got the coalescence if they want it. Pulse not gonna find anybody. AKM, however, raining down death and destruction. Finds the one, big goose gone. Nearly picks up Fisher as well, but that may be enough here for Dallas Fuel to win this without the main tank. They don't have a shield to hide behind, although never mind, he is back into this fight. Never mind, it was the Lucio that got picked. Yeah, Seagull's out of this fight, which means they're gonna have a tough time of even stalling out. Mickey will fall soon after. It's just Harry who's able to touch the point to and fro. We're in overtime. The fight continues. Fisher just happy to swing that hammer in people's faces, back and forth as far as the kills are concerned. Harry Hook has to be worried, though, getting pinned against the wall. Will survive just a little while longer, although Bishu will run him over, literally. And it will be Los Angeles Gladiators now with the edge of the fight. The self-destruct is there, but we, of course, have the barrier, and that will be enough. Los Angeles Gladiators will take the series. So that will make life a little bit more difficult here. Really trying to stay on top of it. Harry Hawk will finally go down and Fisher with a mid-air primal punch to the face. That will certainly have an impact. Uh, just, uh, watching mechanically good Winston players is crazy. And you really see the mechanic shine during that primal rage. It's trying to like wheel something like a car with a flat tire. It's unwieldy. Never able to pull it off. It's still very back and forth. Dallas in here has the bodies. But it seems like the Glanders want to be aggressive. Short for trying to kneecap the D.Va, gets it through. And effects right now is so frustrated. Shaz manages to get it going. Oh, AKM. It's their best chance to contest second after, even after losing one. They need to get in here and try to get something going. If they lose one more person, this one's gonna walk to second for absolutely free. They did lose AKM. They're just not finding any kills. It seems like the target focus is lacking for Dallas. Oh man, Fisher is relentless right now. Hunko, what do you do? You get splattered. And well, Gladiators, even with the ults getting thrown into the fight there by Dallas Fuel, Gladiators, they, they use quite a few ults themselves, but they will get that second point. Three minutes left here to push it to the top. You can see it, it starts to get a little bit complicated for the Dallas Fuel to get out there and challenge the payload when you've got Shurkor on the high ground, hitting headshot after headshot. There's two. Gonna miss the third. Does he get the follow-up? Yes, baby divas just die. He makes it look easy. Desperation EMP coming in, but there's no one to contest Jor for. It's a checkmate position similar to Gibraltar. Effect had been dead the moment he forced out the recall. Everyone else is going to clean him up. And that will be the Los Angeles Gladiators completing Route 66. Oops. Allowed to make that happen, despite the fact that the Dallas Fuel tanks were there to try and get the punish, trying to use that body as bait. Sure, four back into it. Everyone's been pushed very far back, though. Now the tank's doing so much work for the fuel into the back line. Siegel and Mickey have combined for a couple of kills here. And it's really just going to be Asher trying to stall this out. And this is great for Dallas. They've gotten the key kills. They lose their back line, sure. Sure, four is allowed to live, sure. But it seems like Gladiators weren't able to really take advantage of the position. They kind of threw themselves out there a bit too much, and Dallas Fuel were able to capitalize. So now it's a matter of getting back in here quick enough to contest. Well, Effect did a great job of keeping Asher busy for a while as well, as Asher tried to come in and, and contest him so that he couldn't go and mess with Jor for. Speaking of for free, they just walk into second point there. It's because LA wants to set up in a better position on second. Infrared coming in for sure for. Stuck, not quite gonna get it. And the heals are excellent. Fisher finally dies. Effect has to get it done with the pistols. And there's the follow up. Big Goose gone as he tries to get the res off. Big plays coming through here for Effect, the man in question. We were talking about him at the beginning of the game, and now he's decided it's time to deliver. Two kills and make it three. That Shaz will probably fall as well, but Shaz a good dueler in his own right. Effect makes him look silly. Take it down, and Effect on a 10-player kill streak. They will grab second point. Two minutes and 30 seconds out. And so Dallas Fuel have a lot of healing here on this point. Fisher is hacked. He's not going to care. He's right in the thick of things, but there's effect. Big stick on a Fisher. Fisher and just a ground beef target there, unable to jump up once he is hacked. A big self-destruct over the top, going to close down Asher. And right now, Dallas is so close. We need a couple of kills. Shaz will oblige and get one, but I don't know if it's enough for the Gladiators. And that's the last hero you want as a stall hero. Yeah. 
not a whole lot that he can do there, sir. For the first time around here, only 20 seconds left. They gotta be careful. Oh, oh two down, and the gladiators will probably look to punish this and finish whoever's on the ground. Hope to get some staggers in here. And now, with nine seconds left, it is desperation. Siegel dies on top of Big Earls. Harry Hook is there as well. AKM hanging out. He's only at 50% on the EMP, so no ult in play, and that's not gonna matter because he's dead now. Overtime Wick burning down. And Dallas Hill, they can't get back into touch. In fact, sacrifices himself, just trying to keep the fight alive, but Mickey not gonna be able to make it out. Instead, blast off into the stratosphere. Mickey's trying to get this Whittle going. Unko has to go for the trance just to keep his team alive. It's a four-on-four -four situation, and Sherford dancing right on the edge, making good use of that barrier. Mickey gets laid low, but Effect is there to trade it. And Dallas Fuel, they still have a presence on this point. Be sure alone, there's, the there's the EMP that can make all the difference. And I believe it will. It's only Fissure. He gets knocked off the ledge. Dallas trying to put a one in that zero column. Can they make it actually happen here? Yes, it is. There is Sherfor coming back into it. Big Goose is here to tap as well. Shaz going for the full zoom. Yada get in the trance. But this is all just buying time here. Bishu is still so far away, and everybody is here from Dallas Fuel, waiting with open arms. One after another, they will fall. Los Angeles Gladiators, not this time. It will be the Dallas Fuel picking up a map win. You see the difference of getting that EMP or not getting the EMP, the decisive cleanup there when things get scrappy and close, to be able to knock your enemy back. Check out our website at actionesports.com to stay up to date on the latest matches, highlights, and more from scores, match history, and specific game info, we've got you covered for all things Overwatch Esports. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our channel for more action-packed content. Also, like and share this video, and click the subscribe button to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.